Hallelujah, brothers and sisters. So we just got out of the rain. It started pouring rain in that last video that I just did. Sorry for the quality of the video recording. The wind was was blowing and um, yes, it wasn't a very good quality. But nevertheless, still, um, God's will is still being done. So now we're under some shelter here. And I, I don't believe it's a mistake. People are packing up because the market's just finished in Bondi. I don't believe it's a mistake that we're here uh, or that it's even begun to rain because um, everyone's lined up. Morel, babe, leave your skateboard, babe. Everyone's lined up. Yeah, you want to start? Yeah? You want to start forgiving? Yeah? God bless you. Good news for you. Have a really very important. Jesus love you very much. You know, you know who Jesus is? Yes, he died on the cross for your sins. Are you Hindu? Yes. You're Hindu from, from what, what country? From Nepal. Nepal. Praise the Lord. I want to encourage you. The Bible says, For God loved the whole world. He sent his only son. Jesus died for your sins. No one else can save you. Pray to Jesus and say, Jesus, come in my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Because you know, many people worshipping many different gods. But Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to God the Father except through me. Do you know why he died for us? He died because you are a sinner and I'm a sinner and you're a sinner. We are all sinners in need of a savior. Yeah. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that his precious blood cleanses us from all of our sins. So when we come to him and when we say, Jesus, forgive me my sins. Wash me in your precious blood. He'll forgive you and he'll write your name in heaven in the book of life. Understand this, my friend. Jesus rose from the grave on the third day. He's not the dead God. He's yeah. alive. Okay. So please read, this, yeah. read it and ask him in your heart. Don't leave it too late because he's coming back soon. He loves you very much. Have a good day. God bless you. Bye -bye. Jesus loves you so much that he died for your sins and he died to set you free and the Bible says for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall not perish but shall receive everlasting eternal life so please call upon the name of Jesus today and you'll receive eternal life it's a free gift there's only two places my friend heaven or hell the Bible says, choose this day whom you will serve. For he is the God that sets before you life and death. And whoever walks in Jesus, whoever follows Jesus, walks in the light. So please, I want to encourage you all today. It doesn't matter what you've done. He died for your sins and he rose again three days later. And he's coming back. The Hindu gods can't save you. Only Jesus can save you. Only Jesus died for you. So come into your, ask him to come into your heart. And he'll forgive you of all your sins. He's the answer. There's no other answer. God bless you, Mr. Ice Cream Man. Jesus loves you. Ask him in your heart. You're going to receive eternal life, okay? Do you believe? You believe? Are you born again? Jesus said you must be born again if you wish to enter the kingdom of heaven. Time is very short and he's coming back. Ask him to come into your heart because he loves you. And he's not willing that anyone should perish. Have a good day, my friend. Bye-bye, bye-bye. You're welcome, you're welcome. Come on, Morel. Good job, honey boo. Good job. Good job. We bind the work of the enemy in Jesus' name. How are you? God loves you, my friend. Have a good day. Praise the Lord. <laughs> yeah, I always like to say, brothers and sisters, you know, God works all things together for good. Morale! <laughs> Come back. Have a good day, guys. 
don't ride ahead of me, sweetheart. Okay, baby girl? And it's it's really wet, so I don't want you to slip on, slip on your skateboard, honey. God works all things together for good. Even though it started pouring rain, it was an opportunity for us to preach the word of God. Hallelujah. And all these people were lined up trying to get shelter from the rain. And we were able to deliver the message of salvation. Thank you, Jesus. Baby girl, come this way, sweetheart. Thank you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We praise you. We honor you. Come, Morel. We bless you. We give you all the glory, the honor. Morel, here. Go in there. Give everyone a truck in there, baby girl. Every single? No, just, just give about three people, yeah? Thank you, Lord. Your will be done in Jesus' name. Your will be done in Jesus' name. Let the camp of the devil be confounded and confused in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We cancel the plan of the wicked one in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Your will be done, Father God. Bondi belongs to you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, that you have given us authority to trample on serpents and scorpions. Good job, honey boo. Good job. Here, baby girl. Just take one. Yeah. Yes, Lord. You've given us authority to trample on serpents and scorpions. Hallelujah. And uh, we just pray for the people. God bless you. Jesus loves you. You take one. <laughs> God, you're welcome. You have a good day. Have a good day. Hallelujah. Morel, here. Stop, 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 stop. Hallelujah. You want to give the people in there? Yeah, give, give, quick. Go, 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 go. Go. Just go, go. Just say, God bless you. Jesus loves you. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Have a good day. You're welcome. Morel, give, give the lady standing up as well. One, 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 one. Oh Lord, we bind the work of the enemy in Jesus' name. Have a read it, very important. Here, Mara, hold your skateboard, I'll, I'll give it to her. Hold your skateboard, I'll, I'll give it to her. <laughs> hold your skateboard, sweetheart. Don't let it drop. There's a gift for you, sweetheart. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Guys, have a read. It's very important. Jesus is coming back very soon and he died for your sins. He loves you so much. He's the only way to heaven. Have a good day. Bless you. Okay, thanks, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Now, honey, hop off because we're crossing over now. I always ride on this Yeah, give the lady standing up there. Thank you, Jesus. I will, I will. There you go, sweetheart. Jesus loves you. Have a read of it. Yeah, have a good day. Bless you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, hang on, baby girl. Yeah, all safe. Thank you, Lord. No weapons formed against the children of God shall prosper in Jesus' mighty name. And every tongue, morale, wait, baby. And every tongue that rises in judgment against us, we have the authority to condemn those tongues. Babe, come. Come, come over here. Just, just wait over here for a second. Because I'm just going to share. I'll, I'll just quickly share. Um, you right? I'm just gonna. Soon, baby. Soon. So quickly, I'm just walking uh, to go. We're just walking to go back to our hotel now, and uh, and I'll just share quickly. So what happened before I left the hotel? Um, the um, there was the what is it? The concierge or at the desk? The one of the workers behind the the desk. They um. They called my hotel room and and they basically they lied and they said that um, lots of people in the hotel were complaining because I was talking to them about Jesus and then he asked me if I put uh, a salvation track under the door next to me and I said oh yes I said I won't deny that number eight I said I definitely put a track under that door and I said do you know why I did it and he said why and, and the man that was speaking to me he was Indian so he was Hindu okay from from Bangladesh sorry he was from Bangladesh and he was of the Hindu faith 
but the way he was speaking to me over the phone, I, I could just, he, you know, see the spirit of mockery and that, you know, unclean spirit just mocking me and just ridiculing me in a sense. Um, and I explained to him over the phone, I said, well, I, I put it next door, um, but um, I said, please don't lie and don't say that other people, that everyone is complaining because we have not spoken to anyone in this hotel about Jesus. We have not even um, even given out any of our, pa our pamphlets to anyone in this hotel, but to the person next door and we put it under their door. And I said, so please don't, don't, don't make up stories and say that everyone's complaining about it because that's a lie. Because that's a lie, you know. And, um, and he said, okay, yes, but, you know, can I ask you not to do it because the, the person was very upset and they were complaining because they don't want to receive this. I said, well, listen, you have to understand that I'm a follower of Jesus and I'm obedient to what Jesus tells me to do. And I did it because Jesus put on my heart to do it. And that's the life that I live. Now, it's my job, wherever I go, to deliver God's word and God's message. And I said, many people will be very upset to be on the receiving end of, this, of these messages. But one day on Judgment Day, they'll be without excuse. And I said to him, so you have to understand. I said, okay, like I won't do it again. That's fine. But understand why it needs to be done. And then I, and then I said to him, now, my friend, let's turn the attention to you. Do you know how much Jesus loves you? And you know, it's my job. To, to speak to you about Jesus. Wherever I go, I must deliver his word. And I said, you know, like you being on the receiving end of this message from me is not a mistake. God loves you and your Hindu gods cannot save you. They did not die for your sins. Only Jesus died for your sins. And he goes, okay, 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 that, that's fine. That's enough now. I just don't want you to do it anymore. I said, no, I won't do it anymore like, like I've already said. But listen, I want to encourage you to take this message very seriously that Jesus loves you and he died to set you free and you you if you want to receive eternal life you have to understand there's only one way to receive eternal life it's because of what Jesus did on the cross he died for your sins and he rose again I said Hindu gods did not do that for you Hindu gods didn't die for you but Jesus died for you and I said so please please you know like um ask him in, into your heart keep that pamphlet that the the customer gave you back because uh, you know uh, he, G Jesus is coming soon and he did die for you and uh, he was okay okay thank you very much so anyway I, you know um, I got on the phone but you know when I was speaking to him over the phone he was saying that lots of people in the hotel were coming and giving them pamphlets and they were complaining that I gave them all the pamphlets and brothers and sisters that was a lie from from the devil himself and this man obviously was being a mouthpiece for the enemy and um, and he was he was basically lying and saying that other people were coming with lots of tracks and giving them to the desk. I said that's a lie because we have not given out any. And I said so you've been caught out in your lies. Don't lie and make us look bad because it was only one person, you know. But that's what the enemy does. He puts the butter on and he exaggerates and he lies and he deceives. So anyway, cut a long story short. Um, you know, like when that happened, like I was like, okay, devil, now you got me started, devil. Now I'll really show, show you. Now I'll really show you. So I said to my daughter, I said, let's go and let's go do some preaching. And that was when we pretty much, that, that was when we pretty much walked downstairs. And um, yeah, and he was at the desk. I, I already knew um, instantly, the, you know, the guy at, at the desk. And brothers and sisters, there was another, um, there was a customer signing in at the desk with his wife, like an elderly man. And he looked at me and he smiled at me and he was so friendly. And I had my tracks in my hand because I was walking out of the hotel. And um, he was like, hello, darling, how are you? And we started, we got to talking and, and it just comes naturally. How can I not talk about Jesus? I mean, I, you know, no one can put a, a guard and a seal over my mouth. No one, you know, so we got to talking and I, and, and I asked him if he loves Jesus, if he believes in Jesus. It was right in front of this same man that called me and was, was not very happy with me. And, and this, is what, this is all God. God does this. And this man was saying, yes, I'm a believer, I'm a believer. And I'm like, praise the Lord. And I said, I encourage you. Well, the, me and my, my daughters, you know, we give out these tracks, you know, Jesus is coming so soon. And here we were talking about Jesus right in front of this Indian man. So see, the enemy just basically just 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Like put the devil, like, like God basically at that moment I felt was like putting the devil in his place and saying, devil, you cannot and you will not stop my daughter. This is what I've called her to do. You cannot silence her devil. I've given her authority to speak my word wherever she goes. So anyway, at that instant I said bye to the man and his wife and, um, and, the, uh, and then I turned my attention to the Indian man behind the counter and I had a different salvation track. And I gave it to him. I said, oh, hello. You were the one that spoke to me over the phone a few minutes ago. I said, listen, it's very, very, very important. Trust in Jesus because he's coming back soon. <clears throat> I said to him, make sure you read. I said to him, Ma make sure you, you, you're right, darling. Okay. Don't do that, please. Okay. That's yucky. I said to him, make sure you read the track that you got from the, the guy, um, the guy that gave you back his track. And here's another track that I'm going to give you. And I said, please, this is about salvation. It's also, this one's about the coming of Jesus. It's very, very important for us to turn to Jesus because Hindu God cannot save you, my friend. Only Jesus. He loves you. And, you know, I, I preached to him, brothers and sisters. I put the enemy in his, I basically put the enemy in his place. And, um, and I'm believing for that man, like, I mean, like, I was just loving on that Indian man, you know, like, I mean, we don't act out with animosity or hatred or whatever, because we know that it's not, we're not fighting against flesh and blood. We're fighting against, you know, evil spirits and principalities and the unseen, um, you know, forces in the realm, in the realm around us. Um, but praise God that, um, you know, God has the final say. And, and, you know, one thing I want to say is we must never, ever be silenced or be, or be, you know, um, the enemy wants to put a guard and a seal over our mouth. He wants us to be scared and to be silenced and to tremble in fear and say, okay, I won't preach again. Even when people call the police on you, the enemy does it because he wants you to be, he, he wants you to be scared, to be trembling in your boots so that you don't get back to that place and preach in that place. But you know what? Who's given us authority? The creator of heaven and earth is the one that gives us authority to do what he's called us to do. And, um, and the devil hates nothing more than a child of God who walks in the, in the footsteps of Jesus and does exactly how are you? Jesus loves you, friend. Have a good day. <laughs> bless you, bless you. And um, praise God. And uh, hallelujah. Yeah, the enemy hates nothing more than a child of God who knows what their God-given authority is and who knows how to use their God-given authority. Okay, the devil trembles and fears at the child of God who follows all, all of, of the Lord's will. Glory to God. And, um, you know, nowhere in the Bible did Jesus say that we must first seek permission to preach on the streets or to deliver his word to people. Um, the King of Glory, you know, is the one that's given us that authority. And he, Jesus, has been given authority over all of heaven and earth. So he's given us permission and the authority to deliver his word and you know um it's funny when people approach me when i'm preaching on the streets just random people okay um and they'll be like excuse me have you got permission and authority to do this have you got a license to preach on the streets and i'm like uh excuse me like uh, why do you ask and they're like, because you need permission to do this you, you know and i'm like really okay um are you a policeman or are you a council worker no but i'm telling you i know the law and the law says you need permission and i'm like well i do have permission <laughs> i say i do have permission i have permission from the one who created the heavens and the earth his name is jesus and then i give them the, the scripture where jesus commanded us to go out into all the nations into all the world pre and to preach the good news and to baptize them in the name of the father and the, and the son and the holy spirit and then they just go running like i mean and they can't challenge me with that you know um but we must never ever fear man we must fear god to fear god is a good thing it is a healthy thing to fear the living god and to walk in obedience to him and um it's his spirit living inside of us brothers and sisters we can't do anything without him the fire in me it's not it's not me it's the holy spirit something else takes over when i hit the streets it's jesus he's not willing that anyone should perish i want to encourage you to stand up and and fight and fight the good fight of faith and 
preach the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ until he comes. Don't let the enemy silence you. He's a liar, he's a deceiver, he's a manipulator. Very, very soon, we will witness him be thrown into the lake of fire. Well, precious brothers and sisters, I love you all so much. And I encourage you to keep looking up. And keep blowing the trumpet, keep sounding the alarm. <clears throat> keep on being a voice in the light in the darkness because we're almost out of here. Glory to Jesus. This world is getting darker and more evil. <clears throat> and people have become lovers of, them, lovers of themselves, hateful, disobedient. Jesus said it would be like